and, and by the way, I don't know if people want my answer to that question, but you know, should an optimal diet be high or low in fat? Yes. In other words, it doesn't matter. I mean, again, look at the blue zones. Uh, I love the work of Dan Buettner. I, I love the real world example of people living to be 100 or more without chronic disease, without cognitive decline. It's a beautiful thing. I, I talk about the blessings of the blue zones as living long, prospering with vitality, and then in the fullness of time, going gentle into that yeah. good night. I mean, that's the trifecta right there. It doesn't get any better than that. And, you know, we have two of the world's five identified blue zones in the Mediterranean region of the world where dietary fat intake is high. It's great fat. It's extra virgin olive oil preferentially. But in Icaria, Greece, and Sardinia, Italy, they eat a lot of oil, but it's good yeah. oil. In two of the world's blue zones, fat intake is extremely low. Loma Linda, California, among the Seventh-day Adventists, and Okinawa, Japan, it's even lower, very, very low. They, they have the same health outcomes. So in other words, if it's an optimal diet made up of optimal foods in a balanced, sensible assembly, you can get there either with a very low fat intake or a quite high fat intake and probably something in the middle. And the fifth blue zone is in the middle. That's, that's the uh, Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica, where the fat intake is pretty much smack dab in the middle of Okinawa and Ikaria. Yeah. <laughs> so across that whole spectrum, you know, essentially the message is using a macronutrient threshold as a proxy for high quality, wholesome foods in a balanced, sensible assembly doesn't work yeah. very well. Instead, focus on wholesome foods in a balanced, sensible assembly and let the fat content of your diet take care of itself. It can be high, low, or in between. And if your foods are good and, and the assembly of foods is good, all will be well.